Hi, good, good afternoon to all. Hope you're all enjoying this Frappeverse conference. So, uh, this uh, large and enthusiastic audience means uh, the Frappeverse products are gaining a lot of attractions in the market and this is very important in the current market scenarios. So, here what we came to introduce, I mean, uh, how Frappeverse helps us to empower clients and the bespoke solutions that we develop in the Frappeverse. So let me introduce myself. I'm Rakin Karnagaran. I'm heading the sales and marketing for the Viney IT solutions. And along with me, my colleague Danny Robert is with me. He's heading the technical department and always busy in building the Taj Mahal in ERP Next. I always say to my clients. Okay. So uh, coming to the company, I'll just introduce my company, what we are into. The name of the company is Viney IT solutions. As mentioned, it's 1,200 kilometers from here, down south. And it's, we are located in the south of the southern part of India and then uh, the, most of the people call us the Godson country. And we, are, we started our operations two years before, exactly speaking 2022, April 1. And we are one of the, our team is mostly active, uh, currently doing the contributions to the open source in actively. During the course of time, we provided different solutions to different uh, sectors. In the manufacturing, if you talk about like uh, aluminum extrusions, uh, paint manufacturing, as well as also for, if you talk about the polymer extrusions, I mean, different companies, we provided the solutions. And during the course of time, we'll be able to develop two different products, which is much prevalent in the current market scenario. That's what we're going to talk about it. The first one product is, Absolutely, it's new post, it's the offline post, which is very prevalent for the retail segments. And the second product, it's a mobile app, which is most used for the sales person, helpful for the sales persons to punch the sales orders. To talk about the mobile app, I would like to, uh, sorry, to this new post, I would like to call Danny, so he'll be able to explain better. Good afternoon, uh, my name is Danny Robert, as uh, I mentioned, I'm a director and a senior software developer at Wahini IT Solutions. Uh, I'll be talk talking about new posts. Um, so, last few years we had a lot of inquiries uh, regarding an offline post that could work with the features and the functionalities of ERP Next. But uh, we were not able to have a, a successful implementation because more, in most cases customer demanded for an offline support. We faced two major uh, issues or roadblocks that were uh, one being a real-time stock update and the other one being, of course, the offline functionality. So we were in the uh, process of uh, thinking and trying to build a new post that could work well with the app index. And that is when we stumbled upon uh, Frappe incubator function. Uh, so new post is proudly incubated by Frappe. We have been funded and mentored by the teams in Frappe. Uh, NewPost is built on or built as part of Frappe Books and therefore it comes with all the powers and the features of Frappe Books. It has offline support. The way uh, it is built, it, I mean, it does not require that much hardware as uh, required by Yapinex. You don't need much uh, time to set it up. It's easy. So since we have uh, an offline setup in the store, we are also planning on building a uh, sync with the ERPNX. That way, when we have the post transaction on the shop level, end of the day, we, we could sync all the details, all the data to ERPNX. And that way, the management could have a better view and all the controls over the shop. Uh, since it's part of uh, Frappe Books, the stock and all the other validations comes alongside it. Uh, we have a couple of screenshots of the post that is under development. Uh, you have the shift opening screen wherein you can key in the uh, uh, cash or the denomination wise opening. You could key in the details. The system would automatically calculate the opening amount. And uh, this is a simple item selection screen wherein you can select the items and it has the detailed uh, batch and serial number and other selections there. Next screen, please. This would be the payment screen wherein you can uh, key in all the required details and system would automatically calculate the change that has to be paid and then you can submit same like uh, an invoice. And this is the 
a shift closing screen wherein uh, it would automatically calculate the amounts and you can key in whatever you have in hand and the difference is automatically calculated and the accounting entries are uh, made forward. So if you ask me why in your post, I would say uh, it could give you an edge or an easy penetration into the retail market where it currently is kind of untouched. And uh, it's easy to manage. It's since you have it on a shop level, you don't need a high end. You don't need a local installation of ERP next on the. I mean, you don't need much of a hardware. Uh, you don't need. Uh, it's easy. You can just install Frappe books on the on the shop level, and you can have all the features of it. And end of the day, since it's being pushed back to the uh, cloud on ERP next, you can have much detailed reports uh, on on our cloud uh, sites. And it comes with very low cost of ownership. It's convenient and it's easy to set up. Rakin, if you could take over. Thank you, Danny. So it means that uh, offline posts, if, if it comes to the market as a salesperson, you'll be, you'll be have a wonderful product to sell to every each and every retail segments. And it definitely is going to the volume. And from 700 to it can reach up to the million customers. So let's talk about the second uh, product, what we developed over a period of time. This is a mobile app which developed for especially uh, for the FMCG clients. For the especially, uh, it's it's. I mean, nowadays everybody uh, uh, makes in the you use the mobile apps. So this story apps. Uh, okay, that I'll come later. The story actually starts after our incorporations in 2022 May. One of the largest FMCG customer comes to us. To they want a mobile app, and the requirement is kind of like this. They want a, uh, all the comfort of the cruise ship and also they want to that fly the cruise ship need to be flown. So when we carefully got the requirements, the main requirements want to, they want to develop a mobile app. Plus that mobile app want to integrate with the existing ERP. At that time they were using a German, I mean renowned German software. And apart from these two different mobile apps, they have different softwares for the HR and for other vehicle management, they do have separate softwares. Once we got the uh, requirements, we provide a brief demo about the ERP Next. So once they see and they demo on the ERP Next, they are pretty impressed. As you know, I mean, of your, all of your customers will be impressed by seeing the ERP Next demonstrations. So they told that they want to implement the ERP Next to the entire process, the entire operations, including accounts and all the operations. So apart from the mobile app, these are the key requirements from the mobile app. It's, it's, as mentioned, it's quite complicated. It's a multi-company. They do have two different companies. And moreover, they do have around 70 plus salespersons. It, they will be using at a single time. And there will be a, they, the major uh, requirement for the mobile app is for the lodging the primary and secondary sales. I'll just talk about the, what is primary and secondary sales. So if you're manufacturers, the first sales process is that, I mean, they will sell that product to the distributors. That is called the primary sales. And second thing, that distributor will sell that product to the retail customers. That is called the secondary sales. So this mobile app is used to lodge, I mean, to lodge the sales orders for the primary sales from the distributors. And these salespersons will go to the shops and they will lodge that secondary sales. Uh, they will reach and go in each and every outlets. So mainly a salesperson may visit around 50 to 60 outlets per day. So you need definitely a mobile app to lodge all these orders. So second thing is that it's... Uh, Numerous distribution links that I already mentioned, and so that's a, we will just go to the how the mobile app is going to work. Right in the uh, the, the back end, the ERP next where the management logs. If I'm a salesperson, this is the mobile app. The uh, you know it's a Android uh, this one. So these are the different options you will be incorporated in the mobile app: the attendance, the leave form, the expense claim. And also, we have, we do have an option for the sync order for the offlines. I mean, maybe sometimes there will be issue with the internet connectivity. So the backend it's ERP next. And uh, once we select the mobile app, we have to use any the attendance is already marked in the backend. So the management will see okay which salesmen are lodged and what time and what is the geofencing in which locations they are marked. We have to select the. Uh, can you just pause it? We have to select the uh, option for to select the uh, distributor. Then the route, under the distributor, there will be separate routes will be there. And under the routes, there, there will be different shops will be there. For example, in another one route, there will be more around multiple shops, maybe 50 to 60 shops or maybe 100 shops. If you select the route and all those things, we can just order it. I mean, 
there are the shops which is listed under different routes and moreover these are the different we can just directly put the you see different uh, red dots it means that there is no shops we, we we didn't take any orders from the shops and you see the time button it means that the previous order histories so it's very important that if there is a route the 100 shops we know which uh, shops we need to talk so based on that we can take the orders so we select the orders and we can just just uh, this is the excuse for the excuse and just mention the numbers of course this is a screen i mean which uh, given by the customers and we already did. so that's all i mean this just want to punch it i mean hardly around 2 or 1 or 2 minutes in the per shops they can spend it and you can see that green button means that already is already taken so the back end you know the real time the order is already synced and you will be get uh, that management will know which routes i mean this means that if i am a manufacturer so i know how properly that product is distributed to each and every shops so that we can focus on different particular area and other options what we provided it's to provide the stocks i mean for manufacturers they want to see what are the stock into the distributors that we can lodge it and we can uh, do the details and the major thing is that the reports see i am if i if i if i spending my time in the route so i need to buy around 4 o'clock i want to see that how much orders i taken so that if i achieve my target i can go to home and i can uh, you know in the reports they can download in real time these are the things i mean the geofencing the number of shops the number of sqs they taken and even though sorry it's not clarity i mean we will share the presentations link so these are the different options in the mobile app and moreover we also have the provided options for to uh, adding the shops if i see any new shops in the particular route we'll be able to punch the we will we'll record that shops details so that's all for the mobile app and we'll let's see what are the uh, features obviously that the attendance marking is that the with geofencing expense claims and leave management the sales order invoicing and apart from that we also plan to bring the invoicing function also so that is on the beta stage probably within one or two months that we will be able to complete it with all functionality including the payments and of course reports you can make it because the engineers erp next they will fetch the they will uh, give the reports so that's all so regarding the technicality i would like to again call dari so he can explain better thank you rakan so uh, all of the functionality that you saw there uh, the details all the items the authentication all of it basically uses white listed functions uh, most of the time we have reused the code that is already available in the uh, erp next repo itself uh, all of it uh, is open sourced you can access those apis and all the details in this given repo uh, we have not built uh, i mean and something big but we have reused and we have uh, thought out of the box and made the api so that it will be easier for you and you could use these as references when you build a different app this could be your uh, api endpoints for any of your app not necessarily a mobile app you could use it reuse it for any uh, of your other apps um a big shout out to the people who are involved uh, in new post akshay uh, who's leading the development and uh, thank you to the frappe team for the mentorship especially allen and for the mobile app i'd like to thank my team members rahul srileka and all and big shout out to hovercraft and impress js with without whom we wouldn't be able to uh, have this presentation this is a js javascript based uh, website that that's actually we are rendering on the screen a big shout out to them and uh, i just asked danny to help me to give a presentations so he just coded that presentation <laughs> uh this presentation is available uh on our uh on this link uh if you want to copy the urls and all you can go to this link you'll have this presentation you can copy the details and that's it thank you